Welcome to the live broadcast of commencement for the Kell High School class of 2020. The graduates are honored that you are able to share in this special day. The processional will begin in just a few moments. A copy of the commencement program is available for download on the district's graduation information page. Thank you for joining us today.
stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free You may be seated at this time. Good evening. I'm Kyle Kunberger, the student government president, and I would like to welcome parents, families, friends, and all the wonderful Kell High School staff to the Kell High School commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2020. Though it is not exactly what, as we expected, I thank you for being here, whether near or far, to celebrate this momentum occasion today. Before we begin the ceremony, I'd like to say thank that it's been my honor to serve you all in our school as president this year. Thank you for trusting me and serving with me to leave our mark on this great school and community. The class of 2020 is one special class, and I'm eager and excited to see all that we will accomplish in the future. I will now pass the program to SGA Vice President Katie Maples to present this year's senior class gift. Hello, as the SGA Vice President, it is my privilege to present this year's senior class gift. Thank you to the Student Government Association and the senior class's active participation in school events and activities. We can present Kell High School with a bench that will honor the memory of our classmate Kaylee Nesty. Kaylee loved Crocs and cars, worked hard in school, and was looking forward to college, and she was completely devoted to family and friends. While we are still feeling her loss today, we are happy to be able to celebrate Kaylee. Let's take a moment to remember her. At this time, I would like to call upon our principal, Dr. Peter Giles, to present our special awards. Good evening and welcome. It is my honor to recognize several students for their academic achievements. The first individual award that I will present to one of your classmates is the Atlanta Journal-Constitution Cup. This is one of the oldest and most distinguished community service awards that is presented to seniors in the metro Atlanta area. The AJC Cup recognizes the extra efforts put forth by high school seniors to achieve excellence in academics and their leadership in school and community activities. This year's recipient of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution Cup is Brooklyn Hill.
The next student that I would like to recognize has gone above and beyond in striving for academic excellence. He is a young man who has been a member of the Kell High School Marching Band for the past four years and served as a leader the last two. He is the recipient of the Air Lessons Internship and the AP Scholar designation. In addition, he has finished high school with a 4.453 GPA and will be attending the Georgia Institute of Technology to pursue a degree in chemical engineering this fall. This year's salutatorian is Edward Dickinson Palmer Jr., better known to all of us as Teddy. To the students, teachers, and guests in attendance tonight, good evening and welcome to yet another Kell Class of 2020 graduation celebration. It is an honor to be able to speak before my classmates as their salutatorian, and I would like to thank everyone in attendance tonight for their time and support as we celebrate the end of our high school careers again this evening. This year has been anything but average, but then again, our class isn't exactly average either, is it? Since the day that we first arrived at Kell as freshmen, we have been anything but normal, and I believe that there are more than a few teachers that can attest to that. One of the few traits of the class of 2020 that I think stands out the most is our resilience. Rather than allowing ourselves to be stopped by the events of this year, we as a class have had the strength and nerve to finish our high school educations in a way that no class before us has ever had to, and I could not be more proud of us for doing so. Yes, COVID-19 did take away the traditional ending of our senior year, but it also taught us that even if things don't end up the way you thought they would, there are some things that you never get to see if they always go according to plan. The unique way that the class of 2020 ended high school helped us show the world that we can do great things, even with massive obstacles before us. Tonight, therefore, should be a celebration of such an amazing and outstanding accomplishment. Though tonight isn't intended to be a celebration of the end, I'd like to think of it more as a celebration of all four years of the Cal High School experience. Every high school is a different environment in which students grow up, make friends, and hopefully learn a few things along the way. When I was a freshman, I didn't really have a clear picture of what I thought high school would be like, but I am certain that whatever that expectation was, it was completely wrong. Not, no high school movie, show, or piece of media I've seen shows the main character writing an essay at 1 a.m. with a cup of coffee, but every student here can tell you that that is a part of the battle. While high school hasn't been as dramatic or glorious as the movies say it is, Kell has provided us with an unforgettable experience that I will cherish for the rest of our li my life. Despite tonight marking the end of high school, it is clear to me that this is merely the end of our lives' first chapters. As our stories continue on, always remember that you were the author of your own story, and that you can always choose to give yourself the best possible chance to succeed. And when you find an obstacle in your way, you can always choose to work through it. After tonight, the members of our class will go in completely different directions. Some people's stories will have them going straight into the workforce, some enlisting in the military, and more still going into the class of 2024 at colleges all across the world. No matter where your story takes you, you will face challenges just as, the big, just as big as the one we did this year. There are going to be times where you feel like something will not be possible, and you cannot find a way to succeed. When this time comes, remember that you are not alone, and you've overcome enormous barriers in the past. Thank you, and God bless the class of 2020. The third and final student that I would like to recognize has gone, also gone above and beyond in striving for academic excellence. She is a young lady who has been previously recognized as an outstanding Spanish Four student and an outstanding AP language and composition student. She is the recipient of the Georgia Certificate of Merit. In addition to using her lasso time to tutor her peers in writing and calculus, she has involved herself in a number of community service organizations such as Beta Club and Kell's Hope Chapter. She earned an internship with the Northeast Cop Business Association where she learned and developed a passion for graphic design. She finished high school with a 4.55 GPA and will be attending the University of Georgia to study graphic design this fall. The 2020 Kell Valedictorian is Amelia Michelle Day. Congratulations. 
Good evening, everyone. I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to be here today and to speak to all of my fellow classmates of 2020 before we attend college in just a few short weeks. During this past February break, my family and I went on a cross-country road trip. Because of the conditions that come with winter, many road signs displayed messages about being safe and driving cautiously. However, there were a few that read a different message, drive kindly. When we drive, we are in separate cars that mask our identity with no relation to those who surround us except for possibly going in the same direction. We have no idea what their lives are like, who they are, or what they have been through but it's easy to make an assumption when someone seems to drive aggressively. You may become defensive and show aggressive in return. Because of the misunderstandings in these occasions, lives are put in danger, often resulting in both physical and mental harm. This is why it is of the utmost importance to drive with kindness. Doing so not only protects one's life and mentality, but it prevents others from getting hurt as well. The world we live in today is full of a variety of masks that impede our capacity to show kindness to one another. Similar to the disconnect that occurs while driving, social media and other online platforms also create an emotional distance between people. For some, it takes no effort to criticize a person they have never met from behind a screen, just like it is easy to make assumptions from behind the glass of a car window. There is no kindness in these quick surface judgments. The offended is left feeling damaged and insecure, which in many cases causes them to act in fear and project that emotion onto another thereby continuing the cycle of unkindness. It is a vast gap be between strangers that often makes us respond in this way. How, with different personalities, lives, and perspectives, do we bridge that void? Author and advocate Glennon Doyle explains that when we get close to each other, we stop being afraid. It's just the way of things. Fear can't survive proximity. In other words, it's much harder to stay fearful and critical of someone when you're face to face and truly listening to them. Unfortunately, life during a global pandemic makes it more difficult than usual to minimize physical proximity. However, that does not stop us from coming together and more clearly understanding one another. The great Martin Luther King reminds us that people fail to get along because they fear each other. They fear each other because they don't know each other. They don't know each other because they have not communicated with one another. Before jumping to conclusions, ask questions. Be curious, not assuming. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. Learn from each other, knowing that no two people share the same experience in life. Most of all, be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Hold that in your mind and proceed with kindness and humility that you might not know every detail about certain situations. Now more than ever, the world needs kindness. We need to set aside our differences and lift each other up. We need to see life from others' perspectives, not just our own. We need to aid those who lack help and comfort. We need to come together. We can and we will when we incorporate kindness into our thoughts and actions. I'd like to close with another quote from Martin Luther King in which he says, too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. May we all drive with kindness both on and off the road throughout the rest of our lives. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. I would now like to invite our principal, Dr. Peter Giles, back to the podium to share a few more words. Welcome, parents, friends, staff, to the graduation of the class of 2020. It's so nice to be here. The clouds kind of gave us a little relief from the heat to celebrate the success of the class of 2020. I would like to thank our board member, Mr. Brad Wheeler, for being in attendance this evening and also for your strong support of Kell High School. Back in 2016, you all were dubbed the class with 2020 vision. So I have a question. Did any of you see this coming? Although those last nine weeks didn't quite end the way that we had hoped, that we had ever envisioned, um, you guys experienced an incredible four years. You have created great friendships, experienced awesome milestones with one another, and you've grieved with one another. Through all of this, your bonds have even grown stronger. You have created some everlasting change at Kell High School, 
traditions, and man, you have set the expectations high. So seniors, today, today is your commencement. And I can remember back when it was my day of commencement, I was so excited because it was the end. I was finally there. But in reality, that's just the beginning. The beginning of the rest of your life because where you are now is not where you are going. Some of you are gonna continue to prepare by going to college or secondary school. And yet some of you are gonna start your careers right away. And whichever way you prepare, I hope you take the time to think or to, to, to become the best at whatever you do. Don't be afraid of failure, because failure is such a necessary part in the learning process, but it's only a necessary part if you learn from those failures. Something else about commencement that is very important is that it's a time of reflection. You've had so many people who helped you get to this point, your parents, your friends, and your teachers, as well as your community. And then it's a time to reflect on all of the accomplishments as a class that you have done over the past four years. You are a class that has seen our fine arts excel in every platform, in concerts, performances, county LGPE performances, regional competitions, and national invitationals. You've embraced a robotics team that has brought home countless uh, honors, trophies from regional and national competitions. You all helped raise over $80,000 to provide over 450 families in our community a holiday they will never forget through the shop with a Longhorn. You have witnessed and participated in one of the most successful four years in Kell athletic history. This year, you experienced historic state basketball runs for both the boys and the girls teams. You saw multiple uh, region championships and individual state champions. You have always represented Kell well and made your families proud. This year's class has a lot to be proud of. They have made outstanding contributions to our community, but more importantly, you have left footprints for generations to come. If we could all please give them a round of applause. As a class and individually, these are great accomplishments to reflect upon. Regardless of your memories that you will reflect on from, from your time here, this is truly a time to think on how you can improve and impact the world with this new beginning. Have you lived your life in a positive way? Have you always treated other people the way you would want to be treated? And have you made the most of your talents and your abilities? Whatever your answer, remember that adaptability is one of the most important traits in life because the only constant in life is change. And we've seen that here firsthand lately. I would first like to thank our incredible teachers and staff for guiding you over these last four years. You are all truly dedicated and uh, talented. Secondly, I would like to thank all of our parents for your continual support at home and school. You should all be very proud of your child's accomplishments. And then seniors, thank you. You will forever hold a special place in my heart. Since the first day I came to Kell this summer, you all have embraced me with open arms. And some of you I've known since sixth grade, and that's been pretty cool. We've, we've formed some amazing relationships that I will cherish forever. You have taught me so much this year, and you have forever left your mark here at Kell. Our community is a better place for all that you guys have done over your tenure. Hopefully one thing that you have noticed through your years of school and experience in life is that you cannot successfully do this on your own and everything that is great comes with the help of others. It may be through the support of your family or your friends, through the sharing of ideas or help with the implementation of those ideas. But success doesn't come to you. You must go out and get it. Because if you sit around waiting for success to land on your lap, you're going to be sitting there for a long time. So carpe diem, go out and seize that day. But make sure that you surround yourself with those who are positive and will help you achieve your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. You all mean the world to me, and I cannot wait to see the amazing things that you accomplish throughout your life. You will change the world. I hope you guys all have a great evening, and remember, once a Longhorn, always a Longhorn, and hook them horns.
It now gives me great pleasure to introduce the Cobb County Board of Education Chair, Mr. Brad Wheeler, to certify your diplomas so that you will be officially the Kell graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Giles. It's truly an honor to be able to um, fill in for Mr. Chastain tonight. He had prior commitments and was not able to attend. But congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, everyone. And now what we're looking for is the certification. And as a duly elected member of the Cobb County Board of Education, I heard by certify that the graduating seniors of Carleton J. Kell High School have met the high school graduation requirements of the State Board of Education and the Cobb County School District and are thus entitled to all the rights and privileges for completing those requirements. Dr. Giles, you may begin the presentation of diplomas. Congratulations. Linda Carolyn Cerrone. Amelia Michelle Day, with honor. Edward Dickinson Palmer, Jr., with honor. Kyle John Kunberger, with honor. Katie Lynn Maples. Alexandria Sky Rapline, with honor. Madison Lynn Benedetto, with honor. Calvin James Abel. Brian James Abson. Victoria Rose Adkins, with honor. Brenda Aguilar. Yuvia Nadine Agundes. Brooke Cirilla Allen. Irma Daniela Brigitte Alvarez, with honor. Leslie Diana Ortega. Valerie Elise Artigue, with honor. Abigail Rose Ashway, with honor. Olivia Marie Asip, with honor. Simone Lee Bakewell. Cassandra Joy Balfour. Cassandra. Terrence Javon Ballinger. Avery Barron. Leah Rose Bauman, with honor. Kadia Louisa Benjamin. Samantha Elaine Bins. Brett Easton Bishop, with honor. Brianna Ashanti Blunt. Brendan Rashad Blunt. Jackson Walker Bortz, with honor. Trinity Zykeria Brantley, with honor. 
Elizabeth Ann Brown with honor. Autumn Jade Bruce with honor. Zoe Ann Buffington with honor. Kaya, Kaya Lily Campbell. Dolnesha Lene Carter. Gabrielle Nicole Carter with honor. Maxwell Robert Cheney. Ariana Chloe Lucy Charlatan. Ty Clark with honor. Hala Grace Coleman. Sarah Marie Cortez with honor. Jalisha Amanda Costa. David Ricardo Cruz with honor. Thaddeus Sincere Jarrell Davis. Michaela Danielle Day. Kaylin Dawn DeAngelis. Dirk Glenville Damore. Ryan Charles Drake with honor. Isaiah Jerry Juarez Dubose. Sophia Genevieve Dunn. Warren Blake Durden with honor. Joseph Andrew Edmondson with honor. Charles Dylan Edwards. Sydney Brianna Edwards. Stefan Alexander Elbert with honor. Abraham Jacob Fallick with honor. Jessica Ra Feldman. Emma Lee Ferguson with honor. Patrick James Fisher. Joseph Donald Friedemann with honor. Stacy Gabriel. Elizabeth Calliope Galloway with honor. Connor John Gepkins. Dylan Harrison Gergens. Nicholas Noah Glass. Tyler Dale Glykwhite with honor. Stone Chuden Goldberg with honor. Branson Kincaid Hall with honor. Markel Antoinette Hamilton. Brady Dennis Hannock with honor. Tyler David Harris with honor. Deja Amore Hurst. Ethan Daniel Hembry with honor. Brooklyn Imani Hill with honor. <laughs> Katero Montera Hingle. Maya Adeja Holt. <laughs> Mia Ajana Holt. Stephen Clay Hood. Evelyn June Huffstetler with honor. Mackenzie Jordan Hulse with honor. Hayes Almond Huntington with honor. Nathaniel Richard Hyde. Lily Ryder Isbitz with honor. Daniel Alexander Johnson with honor. Satasia Amarja Quine Johnson. Ariana Nicole Jones. 
Justice Sanai Jones with honor. Kayla Roland Joseph. Javiani Lee Justiniano Bersenegra with honor. Mackenzie Alexis Kane with honor. Devin Daniel Kelly with honor. Alyssa Monet Kelly. <laughs> Alexander Kelly with honor. Henry Nolan Kelly IV with honor. Kira May Caldwell Kennerly. Savannah Nicole Kent. Hunter Theodore Kresge with honor. Ryan Scott Lair. Serena Denise Lamb with honor. Jaden Allen Lyon. Mark Harrison Lane with honor. Ryan Nicole Lapierre. Joseph Dominic Leo. Sanaya Ann Leslie with honor. Gabrielle Rose Lanier with honor. Benigno Duran Lamazales Jr. with honor. Kaylee Susan Nesty. The diploma is being awarded posthumously and is being accepted by her mother and sister. Emily Nicole Lowish. Evian Aman Long. Caitlin Elizabeth Lumsden with honor. Alicia Lydic with honor. Connor Joseph Mace. Madison Christine Maldonado. Austin Caleb Martin. Omar Yaniel Martinez. Scott Alexander Mason with honor. Adriana Carolina Matos Ramos with honor. Pauletta Marie Moselle McCullough. Wilmot Augustus McCritty III. Leora Lee McElvaney with honor. Madison Rose McLaughlin with honor. Jessica Lauren McClendon with honor. Santiago Mejia with honor. Annalie Elizabeth Michael. Matthew Scott Miller with honor. Mayuk Mitra. Alyssa Ann Mulkey with honor. Nathaniel Drew Malik with honor. Hayden Elizabeth Montras with honor. Sayer Jamal Moore. Lorenzo Daniel Mora. Joseph, Joshua Victor Morales. Joseph Patrick Murphy. Jared Andrew Nall.
Zachary Ryan Nesbitt. <laughs> Edison Cole Newbert, with honor. <laughs> Christian A. Calais Moore, Norman. So. Isabella Perez Nunes. Tracy Chedera Obasi. Marcos Alberto Ortiz. Kenneth William Oxenberg, with honor. <laughs> Alyssa Hai Kyung Park, with honor. William Callan Partridge, with honor. Sanasia Sherry Patterson. Sianna Danae Patton. <laughs> Abigail Marie Peace. Nicholas Gomez Perez. <laughs> Sertuan Elijah Farr, with honor. Jesus Noah Polindo, with honor. Faraz Porbindawala. Colin Lamar Posley. Elizabeth Ann Kulos. Dylan Edward Powell. Xavier Vincent Presley. <laughs> Alyssa Precious Quinones. Jace Vincent Ramsey. Ashley Elizabeth Richardson, with honor. Gabrielle Alima Roan, with honor. Jordan Ashley Roberts, with honor. Grace Nicole Roddy, with honor. Dejan Norell Rodericks. Nicholas Zachary Santa Cruz. Brooke Lynn Sheely, with honor. Hannah Bernice Schricker, with honor. Blake Edward Schroeder, with honor. Angela Rose Shakatano, with honor. Joshua Dwight Shepard. Case Austin Sheridan, with honor. Tana Lorraine Sheridan, with honor. Esteban David Sedel Bustos, with honor. Ashima Singh, with honor. Alexandra Hope Skoronsky, with honor. Kennedy Bree Smith. Talia Quinn Smith. Terrell Abrian Smith. Casey Brooks Rose. Jorney Javon Southall, with honor. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Starks. Zachary Alexander Spano, with honor. Megan Elizabeth Sullivan, with honor. Alexis Marie Swinford. Sarah Elizabeth Tapp, with honor. Sarah Mackenzie Teague, with honor. Claire Patricia Terwilliger, with honor. Destiny Vanity Thomas. Eve Lauren Thomas, with honor. Sadie Paige Thomason. Alexa Jordan Tomlinson, with honor. Jacob Scott Trahan, with honor. Madison Elizabeth Trailer. 
Megan Elizabeth Truitt with honor. Nasaya Soul Union with honor. Casey Joe Van Stavern. Juan Diego Vargas de la Hose with honor. Ryan Seth Venable. Ashton Michael Ventresca. Ashley Vera with honor. Manuel Christopher Vicente with honor. Maria Jennifer Vicente with honor. Nicole Marie Walker. Shane Alexander Wild. Aiden Matumbi Wachira. Courtney Michelle Wilkins. DeMarquez Omarion Williams. Garrett Kendler Williams. Kaya Haley Williams with honor. Mary Grace Williams with honor. Faith Christina Wilson. William Austin Wilson with honor. Jordan Danielle Winkler. Joshua Alexander Wirtz with honor. Caitlin Ann Worrell. To be a Longhorn represents strength. And though we leave the halls of Kel today, Longhorns we shall always be. Remember the strong foundations our time as Longhorns has set for us and carry them into our new journeys. Will the class of 2020 please stand? Seniors, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank <laughs> you. 